a little flat. And a lot of times it's hard to sustain uh, that kind of play at that level. Uh, and But to, to the credit of uh, Texas A&M and Billy T Kennedy and their team, uh, Daniel House, I mean, this guy uh, made some tough shots and then they start attacking the glass on us. They got physical with us, and that's what I, I was afraid of that would took place in, in the second half. They had nine, I think, team rebounds. And when you start getting team rebounds and you get nine, uh, obviously it's going to put put those guys at the free throw lines, and they're going to get some back buckets uh, inside the paint. And they, they just hung in there and hung in there, and then they got the lead down. And our inability to make free throws uh, was obviously got the game even a little closer. Uh, but to our guys' credit, we've been in those situations before. We didn't panic. Uh, we just made plays. We got uh, cut it to two, and we get to the free throw line. Then we come up with a couple stops. Mike, Michael Calls was uh, in that second half. I think he kind of got a little gimpy. I mean, he's still right now uh, hurting a little bit, but uh, but I thought he sucked it up going down the stretch and got some rebounds and made some free throws, uh, made some defensive plays for us uh, down the stretch. Total team win. Total team win. Very, very proud of our guys. Nolan here in the ceremony and everything. I know you were happy to have that big lead in the first half, but how much did you just enjoy that style and, and how you guys were playing and forcing turnovers and getting up and down? It looked like 40 minutes ahead of part two. That's what it looked like. And, uh, and I'm sure he enjoyed it. Our fans enjoyed it. Uh, uh, you know, kudos to our students, our, our fans. Uh, they were they provided a great, great environment. And our guys uh, started off the game uh, feeding off of it. Uh, and we probably needed that cushion to, in order to win the game. Uh, but uh, as I said, if I could bottle up that first half, uh, that's how we want to play. But you can see this team is, is starting to put some things together. Our bench came off and played extremely well. Uh, Athlon Bell, the guy we talked about, he can miss four shots in a row, but he can come back and he can make five in a row. Uh, so that was big for him coming off the bench. Ja'Cory Williams, uh, uh, Jabril Durham, that whole second bunch, Moses Kinsley. Uh, uh, we had... On the night, I think we had 12 block shots. And if you look at uh, Bobby and Landis and Moses, they're protecting that rim. Uh, we just got to come up with those loose balls rebounds. And, and the way you got to do that is you got to have five. Those other four guys got to be in there uh, uh, collecting those rebounds. We play defense, but the finishing part of defense is rebound the basketball. So uh, we'll, we'll, we'll correct that. So you had a team that was out-rebounded by, by 20 or more rebounds that had a 10 or more uh, Superiority of block shots. Uh, yeah, I don't remember that per se, but I've had some teams that got rebounded by twenty before, yeah, and win the game. You know, because it, it just gets down to possession. Uh, and a lot of those rebounds, they were shooting and going back and get it, shooting and go back and get it. Uh, but we, we've got to correct that. Uh, but to have twelve block shots and they have zero, uh, that's that tells me our guys were pretty active. And, and in the first half, we were blocking those shots, and we were coming up with them, and we were headed down the other end uh, on the fast break. Uh, so uh, to, to do that against a, a team like Texas A&M, that, that just tells me we're getting better. We're getting better. I said Coach Richardson gave a pregame talk to your guys? Yeah, he visited with them a little bit. He did. He, he did. I mean, he, he deserved to do that. And, uh, and, and Coach Richardson is Coach Richardson, you know. Uh, our guys were excited about it. They, they know the history. And so they get a chance to to see him and visit with him and uh, 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 and, and know the story. And, and, a lot, and a lot of times he's talking and I say some of the same things. It kind of amazes our guys. Like, Coach Anderson said that. Yeah, it amazes. But uh, as I said, I learned from the best. When it's 74-72, what's going through your head? we got to make a play. we got Got to get to the free throw line. I mean, we missed free throws. We had uh, we turned the ball over, uh, unforced. They were in a zone. Uh, we were not in an attack mode. I thought that zone ended up slowing us down when, when it shouldn't have. And we catch the ball in the middle. We put it on the floor. They come up with it. So it seemed like everything you could do to turn the game around the other way, uh, we were doing it. And so uh, we had a chance to settle down and. Uh, I think Kai got to the free throw line, made a couple of free throws, and then we got a couple of stops, and uh, and there you have the ball game. Okay. What happened on, on the glass tonight, considering who you Well, it's something we got to or... certainly address. And, and you, know, uh, you know, what caused that, I just thought they got a lot more physical than we did. And, and maybe some guys were tired out there. Uh, I thought a and went to a, an attack mode, and, and we did. And, and it's very concerning as we get ready to go up to 
Kentucky because that's what they do. They throw it up there and go get it. Uh, so we've got to we got to correct that. And uh, and I and I think we we've been pretty good in, in terms of uh, uh, rebound the basketball and not letting people just annihilate us on the glass. And so we we got to certainly uh, do something before we go up to Lexington. This week about not thinking about Saturday at all, or did, do you have to do that with this bunch? You know, I think the beauty of this team right here, they, they've listened to me thus far and, and uh, from uh, getting better each and every day. Each game's a big game. Um, uh, they say it in their mind. I'm sure they I'm sure they hear you guys talk about it, write about it, uh, the Kentucky game. Uh, so that was some concern, but at the, at the end of the day, uh, and M is a very good basketball team. I mean, we've we seen their record. We've seen them play. Uh, they took Kentucky to two or three overtimes. Uh, they won at LSU. Uh, uh, they're playing well. Uh, they won. They won, have won 10 out of the last 12 games. They start off 0-2. And so, uh, and we're all, both teams, trying to jockey for position uh, in the conference race. So it was a big game, and our guys uh, came out and played like it was a big game. Somewhat of a natural letdown. How do you make sure that your team doesn't go into the mentality of playing not to lose the game? Well, I, I, I think you got to come out and do the same thing. You know, the score should be like zero zero. Come out and play the way uh, you played early. And I thought the, 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 the second half we came out and, and, and I think we just came out with the, not in attack mode. You could see them going right attacking the glass, attacking the basket on us, and we settle for jump shots. And as you start doing that, then they start chipping chipping the lead. Uh, so it's something we got to get used to because with the way we play, you're going to have some games where you're going to be up, and you got to be able to, to continue the, uh, keeping the cushion. So, uh, uh, But a was a very good basketball team. They, they weren't going to be denied. They weren't going to go away quietly. <laughs> I know it's been pretty tight, but you're fighting ways to win. You know, all these games. What, just how do you feel about eight game wins? <laughs> we're getting better. I, I think we're getting better. We, we, you know, we're playing some. Uh, we're starting to play some of our better basketball, uh, and we're doing it consistently. Uh, as I said earlier, our defense has been the common denominator uh, for the most part. And I think, the, with the exception tonight, the only thing we didn't do, and we contest a lot of those shots that they shot, but we didn't come up with the rebound. That, that's the only negative right now, and and we'll we'll correct that. We'll correct that because that's all about effort and being in position and uh, putting a body on somebody. Because if we get those rebounds, I think we got easy layups at the other end. This atmosphere you see anywhere in the conference addressed energy, but just. I agree. I agree. I think we got one of the best home courts right here. And uh, the energy was super. It was, I mean, at the beginning of the game, you could just, when I came in the arena, you could just feel it. And it just trickled down to our, our guys. I mean, they uh, they sensed it when they came in for shoot around today. I mean, there's some, you know, they had the towels, I think, laying around in, in the uh, in the seats. And, and our guys had a little pep in their step. They always do, but they had a little, like a little extra uh, pep in their step. Uh, so, but when you get that kind of energy and you and you're playing the way we play, because nobody plays like we do, uh, no one plays, especially that first half. And if we can do the things we want to do, uh, make you uncomfortable offensively. And we made uh, A and M uncomfortable offense. The second half, I thought they got into a little rhythm in terms of running the offense, and we left house open a lot. And now. Uh, Caruso makes a shot. The Robinson kid made some big plays for him. We had some breakdowns on our defense. But overall, the effort, unbelievable. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll take the win any way we can get them, especially this time of year. Defense, that was one of the things you said. Six games in the conference that y'all need to work on. We're stopping people. We're making people make it tough on people. We're making it difficult on them. We're, we're harassing them. We force 21 turnovers tonight. We scored 27 points off those turnovers. Uh, we're we're being a little tougher at the rim. Uh, like I said, with the exception of not rebounding the basketball, our guys are uh, they're connected on defense. It's like one hand know what the other hand's doing now. And to me, that's getting getting familiar with one another. Our bench, uh, I thought it came in the first half, played really really well. And that's going to be 
I think real, real key as we go down this this stretch. Our bench has continued has to continue to play well for us. And uh, and like I said, Dale coming off that was that was big for us. I, I thought that was. It just seemed like when you got you know Kai start off making a three point shot. It seemed like when we get one or two guys knocking shots down, it, it kind of trickles with this basketball team. Bobby stepping out, uh, making shots. Uh, I thought he played really, really well that first half. He was in the second half. He had a, he's playing at a, at a tremendous level for our basketball team. We're in a race right now. That's all I'm looking at. You know, it's three games to go, and I guess we're three three games behind. Uh, so we're still in the race, and you know, the next game is is, is the biggest game. Uh, that's that's the focus of our team right now. I mean, you, you you don't get ahead of yourself. I mean, you guys can write about it and talk about it, uh, but if we continue to play the way we're playing and do the things we're doing. We'll be where we're supposed to be. That's, that's how I see it. And so, um, so for our guys, it's just the next game. That's going to be the biggest game. Uh, uh, we know we're playing uh, at, a, at a pretty good level, and we want to continue to get better. In the first ten minutes of the game, uh, I saw they brought – Coach Richardson back, and it looked like they brought Corlin Williamson and Lee Mayberry back. Uh, I really thought the first five minutes uh, they were dominant, um, and we, you know, there wasn't a whole lot we can do. You just got to give Arkansas a lot of credit. Uh, they they made shots. Portis was uh, played an incredible game, and and we were kind of stunned. And uh, I thought the second half we played with better pace, took care of the ball and uh, had our chances down the stretch, uh, needed a few more breaks uh, to beat a very good Arkansas team. What do you think was the key to the comeback? Did you ever, you're down 25 and this close, did you ever imagine you could make it a two-point game? I, I thought we, I really believed we would have a chance. You know, our team, uh, when we play well and we play poised and make the extra pass and finish around the basket, uh, we have a chance to be pretty good, you know. But they they made some mistakes. And we were able to capitalize on them. But at the end there, we didn't really get a break. I thought there were a couple of fouls that we, you know, didn't get. get. And uh, you got to give Arkansas credit. They made enough plays there at, at the end. What you do to get your guys back? No, at halftime, we, you know, that's uncharacteristic of our team to turn the ball over 16 t- times and uh, give up 22 points in the first half on turnovers, you know. And uh, we just said, hey, we need to settle down, slow down. Thought we played too fast and got wrapped up in, in, in the uh, atmosphere of the game. And Arkansas, really, defensively and offensively, they, they were the best I've seen an Arkansas team are. In a long time. Was it just the energy that was the difference at the beginning of the game? I thought it was just the energy, the shots. I mean, they made some shots. You know, they they, they had I think eight threes in the first half. Uh, and you know, Madsen started off, you know, with a deep three and it seemed like Bell. Uh, but Portis, I mean, he separates the def- defense. You look along his stat line, 22 points. You know, three blocks, one steal. We, we struggled finishing around the basket. Our guys were a little bit intimidated, I thought, around the basket. And uh, we didn't finish some shots. But Portis, I thought, was a special player today. Bruce says normally takes care of the ball pretty well. Had four turnovers, I believe, in the first half. What do you think, uh, where do you think the Hogs did that was able to get to them? Right they really did a good job of doubling him, and we expected that in, in, in uh, attacking him on ball screens and, you know, Really, all of our perimeter guys. You know, we did 16 turnovers. You know, it's hard to overcome at a tough place to play against a very good team. And uh, Mike's got them playing really well. What do you think of House? I thought House was, you know, fantastic. You know, uh, he was aggressive. You know, he wasn't intimidated by the the, the hype. Uh, you know, he, he was. He played a. He had a a special game, and and that's what gave us a chance uh, for the game. Questions for Jordan? 
you know, just what was going through everybody's mind that first half when you guys get down to 25 and have all the turnovers and all that? What was, what was going through everybody's mind? <clears throat> just like Coach said, just uncharacteristic. I mean, the Bass one was a two-half game. You know, we made some uh, uncharacteristic turnovers, and we didn't play poise like we uh, came in trying to do. But, you know, we stuck together, and we, we stayed together, and we fought. And so I'm just really proud of the guys. But, you know, we weren't really shook. We just know what we had to do in the second half. Just like Coach said, some things really didn't go our way. It's tough to come back and put in a spot like this, you know, spotting them that many points. But we just had to stay with it uh, and stay our game. But, you know, we, we weren't sure. We were just poised. How big was the rebound in that second half? Yeah, you know, 22 offensive rebounds. Um, I thought a number of times we went up and, and, and didn't get anything for, from it. You know, didn't get a foul, didn't get a basket. And uh, you got to finish those, those baskets. Uh, we only scored, I think, 18 and maybe... Some of those were in the first half off of second chance points. You, when you get those opportunities, you got to finish. How the atmosphere compared to some of the other venues y'all played at? Did it make an impact? That- this this was the best atmosphere we we I played in since I you know I've been here uh, in this league. I've got a lot of respect for for the atmosphere. I played here 18 years ago in uh, Centenary College and uh, Sunday out of Bay. Was became eligible, and Jimmy Dykes was doing television, and it was it reminded me of that type of atmosphere. Um, so, you got to give Arkansas credit; they they played really well. Do you think this was even better than Rupp? I know you played What's that? Do you think this atmosphere is even better than Rupp Arena? It was pretty intimid- intimidating the, the first ten minutes of the game. What do you think it says about your team, though, that down twenty five, you chop, 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 and you, you get it within two? You know, we get it within two, and we have a couple opportunities, and we just don't don't finish them and don't get a break. And uh, we've got good character with our team. Our guys stay together. Uh, I thought, you know, at, at halftime we settled down, and uh, that's why we've won the games we've won on the road. Uh, we just hadn't played against a team that played so well, uh, in, in, like like Arkansas did.